In an interview with Yahoo News, Joe Biden was asked about his mental fitness and whether or not he had taken a cognitive test. And his answer was downright humiliating. And I'm saying this right now. If anyone who has connections to Joe Biden's team is watching this, hide him away until November 4th. Because if we have more interviews like this, the results, like the polling, is not going to remain the same. Take a look at how bad this interview was. Mr. Vice President, your opponent in this election, President Trump, has made your mental state a campaign topic. And when asked in June if you'd been tested um, for cognitive decline, you've responded that you're constantly tested in, in, in effect because you're in situations like this on the campaign trail. But please clarify specifically, have you taken a cognitive no, test? No, I haven't taken a test. Why the hell would I take a test? Come on, man. That's like saying you, before you got in this program, you take a test where you're taking cocaine or not. What do you think, huh? Are, are you a junkie? What do you say to <laughs> President Trump who brags about his test and makes your mental state an issue for voters? Well, if he can't figure out the difference between an elephant and a lion, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Did you watch that? Look, come on, man. I, I, I know you're trying to goad me, but I mean... I'm so forward looking to have an opportunity to sit with the president or stand with the president in debates. There can be plenty of time. And by the way, as I joke with him, you know, it, I, I shouldn't say it. I'm going to say something I don't I, I probably shouldn't say. Anyway, I am uh, I am very willing to let the American public judge my physical and mental my physical as well as my mental fitness and uh, to, uh, you know, to make a judgment about who I am. I mean, the attack writes itself. You know this will be featured in the next attack ad from Donald Trump. That was embarrassing. Like, it genuinely was cringeworthy. Um, it made me feel embarrassed for Joe Biden. And you can see that he was getting visibly irritated because he was being asked about his mental fitness. First of all... You shouldn't be irritated by that or be taken, you know, by surprise by that type of question because you know this is going to come up. It's exactly why, you know, your staffer should have helped to coach you to have an answer for this type of question. And Donald Trump has been hitting you for this. And not to mention, let's address the elephant in the room. It really looks like you are in cognitive decline, right? I think that what we're seeing here is possibly the early stages of dementia. I'm not going to diagnose him, but there is concern there with Joe Biden's cognitive functions. Now, having said that, there is concern with Donald Trump's cognitive functions as well. So if I'm Joe Biden, anytime this is brought up, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to say, you know, Donald Trump said this. He is doing this. Here's X, Y, and Z reasons why I think we should look at his cognitive functions and not mine. But I mean, you can tell that he was completely not prepared to deal with that question. He was taken aback and he got angry. He started to laugh and, you know, he just said, come on, man. Come on, man. That was really bizarre. And this is why the strategy to hide Joe Biden away, they have to keep at it. Like every once in a while, they'll let him out. Right. And then he'll say something stupid. Then they lock him back up. We all forget about that. They bring him back out a couple of weeks later. He says something stupid again. They lock him back up. If you do not lock Joe Biden up for the entirety of this election, then we will continue to have moments like this that are completely humiliating and embarrassing. And so much is at stake that we can't afford for Donald Trump to get another four years because Joe Biden is an imbecile. Now, it's frustrating because had we gone with the person who's actually competent, who's not in cognitive decline, Bernie Sanders, this wouldn't be something that we'd have to worry about. I think that Joe Biden got lucky in the sense that the conditions surrounding this year changed uh, the election, right? I mean, it's an entirely different race because of COVID-19, because of the economic situation that we find ourselves in. So had that situation remained the same, though, pre-COVID-19, I don't believe Joe Biden would win. I think Donald Trump would be the favorite. But because of COVID-19, he got a really large boost because when things go bad, people tend to blame the president. And in this instance, rightfully so. But he can't be allowed to squander this opportunity that he was given, right? Bernie Sanders, I think, would have been the best bet to take on Donald Trump. But in the event, we got a Bernie Sanders Democratic nominee 
and you know COVID-19 happened and people are dealing with a pandemic and a possible economic depression coming you know a looming eviction crisis Bernie Sanders would be much further ahead even than Joe Biden and he's currently overall according to aggregate polling data doing really well right in hypothetical matchups he's even polling well in Texas but if he keeps opening his big mouth that will change so this is why I am not necessarily ready to say that, you know, it's a foregone conclusion Trump is going to lose because Joe Biden consistently puts his foot in his mouth. And at these debates, like whatever Joe Biden's staffers gave to him to make him perform really well in that head to head debate with Bernie Sanders, they have to do that again. But all the time, like keep him drugged up. And I'm not I'm not saying that he is drugged up. Right. I don't know if he's popping pills. But what I am saying is that whatever they did, whatever they said to him, however they coached him, uh, anything that they did, if they gave him extra sugar, I don't know. Do that again every single day when he's going to make a public appearance. Otherwise, he's going to face plant and Trump is going to get another four years. Trump losing is not a foregone conclusion, right? The future is still unwritten and things can change. So if Joe Biden fucks this up, then every single person in the country should be absolutely furious with him and the Democratic Party and any Democratic Party official who pushed for Joe Biden. So keep him hiding. Don't bring him out. Um, unless you absolutely need to. I mean, I, I think that every once in a while, sure, once in a couple of weeks, that's reasonable. Bring him out for an interview, um, but really coach him. Like, you have to hype him up. Script his answers if you have to, because if you have more moments like this, Jesus Christ, um, it's going to be a disaster come November 3rd. You know... You, you, you know... You know the, you know the thing, thing. You're getting nervous, man.